everyone welcome back to our channel go dynamic it in this video we are going to discuss about team weaver it's a remote access software which is freely available for personal use so let's assume that you are a tech guy and you wanted to tech support your friends or family in different city then this software is for you sometime if you want to access your own pc at your home then team weaver is for you so let's install and access team weaver on windows 10 windows 11 unattended access for that we have to go to our one of our browser it could be your google chrome or microsoft edge anything and once you go there you have to type type team viewer and you can see this is the home page of the team viewer and you can see this is the home page of the team viewer so let's go to this team viewer page and once you go to the team viewer page you say that uh, this is for your cookies so use only necessary cookies which is required and now we can see this is the free now we can see that is a free download so let me tell you one thing here so when you go to the free download it says that team we were free and it says that free license for personal use right so let's download this one we are not going with the though it has a plan for like re remote access and uh and team your business so you can, there are multiple options here you have a wake up online wake up online file transfer and a lot more here but uh since we have going to use only for remote access i think this free version suffice our requirement so let's go ahead and download it and download it for windows and i have a this is for quick support no i'm not going to download quick support i'm going to download this uh, full client so basically team viewer have a three type of softwares which is one is the quick support so quick support is just like a client kind of software so let's say in your family or friend having this uh, quick support you they will share the id with you and you can log in from your uh, computer so for us we will use this full uh, client version right so let's down let's uh, we have downloaded this one let's go ahead and install it i'll show you where to use this quick support don't worry about that so first thing first is install this application so this is that so now you have a two option you can use with the default you can use with the default installation and set up with unattended unattended access or run only so we know when you click on the run only this is not going to install this is simply going to run this application you can see here this is in the back end back end it's trying to do some processing and uh, give me a moment any moment it, it will show up here we go accept and continue says so that is starting the team viewer so this will run from your temp directory on your windows system so here we go so you can see here now it says that you have an id and here here is your password so anyone who's who's having this id and password can connect your system or if, if your relative is running this team viewer you can get the code here this is your code and you can run it from here right so um let's close this one and run this software once again download team viewer and uh, this time just run it for default and use this unattended access one so you know this unattended one you don't need anybody to uh you know log into your computer and they give you the access to you so once you have this system on let's assume that you are you want to access your home pc right no one is there and your laptop is shut down so you can ask your family uh like your wife kid or anyone to just start your computer once you start once your computer get started and it will connect to the internet then you can access it from anywhere so right so you can see this uh, system is ready now right the same windows we have As you can see you have a new interface so you can close this new interface and restart it let's go back to your yeah i like this one i like this one right so let's keep this uh, interface for now and um, so this is your host computer assume that i'm a tech person this is my my computer now let's go back to our uh, relative computer so assume that this is my relative computer and here i have to ask him to install the team viewer quick support on it so let me show it to you let me show you this uh, team viewer quick support one and then i'll show you how to go with the full version okay so this is our browser now let's go and type the team viewer and inside the team viewer again we have to go here go to the home page of the team viewer and click on the free download in the right hand side it says uh, that free version go ahead. i mean you have to select this cookies and click on the download now and once you go to the download now as i said that you have in this computer i have to download this quick support i mean you can go with the full version also that's not a problem i'll show it to you don't worry about that so let's install this uh, quick support quickly here and done open, let's open this quick support yes i accept continue and now you can see here uh, it will show you this id and password in 
any moment okay so now you can see here this is showing you this id and password so let i've copied this in my clipboard and let's go back to our our computer and here it says that remote control okay so i want this id what was the id let's copy it on the notepad and so that i can remember it okay start from here so now we have to enter our uh, relative uh, ID here, remote session ID. So the session ID was 918165 uh, and 984. And you have to click on the connect, connect clear. And it says that, uh, okay, it says that they have added some security here. So creating the account is mandatory now. No problem. Let's create an account quickly here. It says that uh, your name and email and password. Okay. So let's add this email ID to create this account. And uh, they're asking me to create a password. Create the password here. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So I have set up the strong password. Now click on the next. And it should be creating the account very quickly here. Okay. Click on the finish. You are done. Okay. Do it later. So start session. I should be seeing my account now oh it's asking about the partner id again after creating this account let's log into the system again 916 918 sorry 918 165 984 and click on the connect oh it says that you have to activate the account okay fine i got it so you have log into your account so that you will be receiving the email so let me show it to you so as you can see here I have received this activation email, verifying email. So I'm going to verify now. And you can see here, your account is activated successfully. Done. Okay. So now let's connect here. And hopefully this time, it should connect to our system without any problem. So now, okay. So now it's asking about the password. Password of my other computer, right? So the password is this one. Click on the login. And it says that starting a remote session, done. So as you can see here, I have logged into the Windows 10 machine of my um, my relative system, right? So what we have to do is, let's say I want to copy some data. So um, let's do one thing. Let's do one thing so that it's easy for you. So you can see here, I have one file here called control panel something. So can you just copy it and paste it on my relative computer yeah you can see i just copied it and it's pushing it to the that computer and done you can see this is file is copied on my relative computer you can see these are the photos and let me show you the photos here as well and you can see this is a similar photo on my computer so, so can you see that this is how easy it is right to copy your data back and forth right and uh, let's close this one so let's say I want to copy this, um, not this one. Let's copy some file from back and forth, as I said. So let's let's go back to our this location and copy this image. I'm just copying back from relative computer to this my computer and click on the paste. And it says that clipboard transfer completed. And here we go. You can see this is has been, this has been copied on my computer. So how easy it is, right? Transfer this file here and by here and there back and forth. So now let me show you the sub couple of options here. So there is a menu here so when you um, you can see this actions action you have a leave note lock remote reboot and then you have a uh, send alt control deal delete and then you have a view communication extra files right so there are multiple options so you have a computer uh, sound also uh, so let's say um, i want to lock this computer right so click on the lock now and now you can see this windows computer has been locked so how do i unlock it so you have to go to action and send control alt delete and once you click the send control delete it will ask you for the password so let's put the password here and here we go we have unlocked the computer so you know one more interesting thing is that uh, um, you know but for that we have to install the application you can reboot your computer from here and it will once it will back you can able to login again right so, and then uh, you have this and i'll control these are the shortcuts given here reboot and all similar thing so let's close this session and i said that i'll show you how to uh, use this unattended access so let's do one thing let's go to this browser again and this time uh, let's go and install it okay so this time what we will do is we'll go to the team your site and uh, let's go ahead and download this full version this is uh, where is that uh, this is team viewer full client so download this version 64 bit and you can see here this downloading is started done 
So let's install this application on. Let's install this uh, Team Viewer here. This one here. Install and set up unattended access to access the device. Click on the yes and installing. So if you want to, if you want to use this computer as a unattended access, you have to install it. There is no other way. Okay, and then accept this uh, license agreement, and it says that installing this Team Viewer okay it's fine it's good so let's disable this uh, new interface uh, something i don't like this i i love this older one so i'm going to disable it and click on the restart okay so it's back to our this thing so now it's asking about to log into this uh, uh, account yes i will log into this account so remember that i have created an account on this uh, team viewer click on the paste and then password the one which we have created here and click on the sign so you can say start the team viewer when restarting this computer so you have to in check the services make sure that this services is got checked the start team viewer with when the system is start right okay okay so you know um it's asking about so this is for the uh this login that login so you know okay we have already logged into this account let's do one thing so i think the id will be same so once you get this id it will be as it is the only the password once you reboot the computer the password will be get changed here so you can um assign your own password so here you will be option you can see create a random password copy random password there is an option where you can activate this one time password but that i think that's a paid version then now this uh, team viewer has moved that features to the paid version but that's fine you can create a random password here so let's this is the rand assume that this is a random password and let's go with that so this is on our uh, windows 10 computer which is acting as a client client means our relative computer now let's go back to our windows 11 where we are uh, trying to log in so let's connect this computer so this is the one nine one eight one and uh, let's connect that it should ask for the password oh it didn't ask for the password it directly log into this computer right good so once you go to this uh, session here you can see it will show you this if when you go to this icon here do you see this icon let's disable this new interface i don't like this interface again click on the go this one so you can see this remote access remote management meeting computer and contacts so when you click on the computer and contact it is showing you the system name the one which we have logged in here right so this is the computer so um let's double click on that and it will directly connect you to that computer you can see we have logged in we can directly connect to this computer now i said that the unattended access so assume that let's see let's go back to this computer we have uh, rebooted this computer so let's restart this computer for some reason let's say this computer got restarted and we are just watching it from our main computer here okay i can see here as of now it's showing offline because that computer is getting restarted you can see this black screen here so let's go back to our windows 10 machine and see what is happening this is still in restarting mode okay now you can see this windows icon and this is trying to restart the computer okay so you can see here this is the uh, current situation where our system is uh, on uh, login screen when you go back to windows 11 you can see now you can see this blue one right you can see this has become blue double click on that and let's see what's going to show you and you can see it didn't ask you for username and password because we have already signed in with our account and we have logged in right so let's key in our password here so this password is for the computer and the moment we key in the password it directly allow us to log into this computer so you know this way you can have this let's say um you have a couple of relatives right so you can install this team viewer on all your relatives computer and if you have a home computer a home service you can install this application on your home service also and just add login with sign in with the same account and once you like this online in uh, so, uh, sorry sign in with the same account you will have an option where you can you know um you can see this all this computers here in the computer and contact and this is how you can manage your uh, other computer from your computer so guys that's it for today's video if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one